All is not well at Ferrari. The prancing horse is not exactly prancing, but rather limping. There is talk of internal fighting and major changes within the organization, but the biggest talking point is whether the Marinello-based team can keep its two drivers. Stick around to find out what the latest is for Ferrari and its drivers and the contract clause that could allow Charles to move to Mercedes sooner than we all thought. Let's just call a spade a spade and be brutally honest. Ferrari's first three races have been terrible. After the team's relative success last season, the Charles finishing second, the expectation from Ferrari and its fans was for the team to improve on this and finally get a world championship. Well, what we have seen has been well below this. And one man who has particularly suffered is Charles Leclerc. At this point last year, the Monegas driver was on top of the standings with 77 points and two podiums. A stark contrast to his current position of six points and no podiums. And to compound the misery, he doesn't even have a top five finish. This leaves him in a lowly tied ninth position. His teammate Carlos Sainz has fared better with 20 points and sits in tied fifth, but is still 13 points and two places behind where he was at the same point in 2022. Naturally, with the start that Ferrari has had, the rumor mill goes into overdrive around the future of Charles and Carlos. According to Blick, Carlos is the number one target for Audi, and with the Spaniard being out of contract at the end of 2024, the timing could be right for the former McLaren driver to join Audi. Andreas Seidel, who worked with Sainz at McLaren, joined Sauber as their CEO at the start of the year, which is another potential reason why Sainz to Audi makes sense. Personally, I think this could work for Carlos. In particular, if he doesn't succeed at Ferrari, it may be a great opportunity for him a fresh chance to be the lead of an exciting project and really put his stamp on a new team. He would also most likely be the number one and given the best chance to influence the direction of the car. Now, obviously, Carlos can't say that he wants to join Audi at this stage, and he rightly denied the rumor for 2026. It surprises me a lot hearing things about 2026 when I don't even have a contract for 2025, he said. It surprises me that people invent things so much. In some ways, it makes me laugh. In other ways, it annoys me that there are these uncorroborated rumors. Nobody will ever go to that journalist and verify it, because the aim is to stay at Ferrari for many years. I'm very comfortable here. I'm living a dream, and this is my objective, science told Spanish publication Marca. However, this doesn't mean that it won't happen, but for the time being, this is probably still a long stretch for the Spaniard and something that Helmut Marco says is silly and that Ferrari has bigger issues to focus on. This is probably true, and according to Gazeta dello Sport, Ferrari's impending upgrades are not enough to unlock the car's maximum performance. The report states, The developments that will be seen in a week's time in Baku do not form part of the package of modifications defined to solve the problems that have so far prevented us from extracting the full potential from the Ferrari SF23. The targeted development plan will unfold between Imola and Montmelo with perhaps a sort of preview in Miami with regards to the wings. The nightmare for Charles and Ferrari fans looks set to continue, and according to former technical director Joanne Villaldeprat, Leclerc will need to start working harder and avoid throwing his toys out of the pram in order to re-establish himself as the lead driver of Ferrari, with Carlos arguably a better long-term option for the team than his monogasque team. Mate. Leclerc has been sold that he is number one, and when he sees Carlos in front of him, no matter how much good vibes they have, it makes him sick to his stomach. Carlos works harder than Leclerc. He is easier to work with people. He is a more positive asset. Leclerc puts a lot of pressure and a lot of fuss on the team when things don't go well, and this doesn't help. This quality of Carlos can be advantageous in the long run, Philaldeprat told El Confidencial. Joanne did go on to say that Charles would be doing everything in his power to make things right at Ferrari and that he could become the king of Ferrari in the future, but he needs to grow this year and earn his right to be considered number one by Ferrari. Whether he stays long enough to be the king of Ferrari is the next question. According to renowned Italian F1 journalist Leo Torini of Hamilton, chooses not to stay with the Silver Arrows, the vacant seat would likely be taken by Leclerc. Leclerc is talking to Mercedes, it's the open secret. Everyone knows it, from the remote garage in Maranello to the Indian Ocean, wrote Leo Torini. If Hamilton were to leave Mercedes, the German team would want to replace him with an experienced driver. Leclerc, alongside George Russell, would no doubt be a very attractive option for the Silver Arrows. 
Russell is very, very strong, but if Hamilton were to stop, whoever pays in Stuttgart might not accept another Valtteri Bottas alongside a driver who is not yet a world champion, wrote Leo Turini. This rumor would most likely not be floating around had Hamilton signed his contract, but with the Brit still stalling on his current deal and the team looking at no closer to signing the deal, there could be a very real chance that Hamilton may not sign. People probably think I'm crazy, but if you're a fan of any sport, the longer there's a delay in signing a contract, the more there is a chance the contract won't be signed. Yes. Hamilton has his loyalty to Mercedes still at the moment, with the team being so far off the pace, the British driver may be looking elsewhere to get the final 8th World Championship. And with Mercedes' new plan for Mick Schumacher, the team may be looking past Lewis for their future races. Now, many of you, I'm sure, will be thinking about how will Leclerc be able to join Mercedes if he is under contract till 2024. It's just not possible. Well, not quite, because according to Helmut Marko, it is quite normal for drivers to have performance clauses in their contracts. And Marko believes a performance clause in Leclerc's contract will be in place if he wants to leave the team before the end of his deal. These performance clauses are common today, he said. It roughly says that a driver must have a certain number of points at a certain point in the season, usually in late summer, for the contract to be automatically extended. If this is not the case, both parties have the option to terminate the contract. In 2015, our Sebastian Vettel was able to switch to Ferrari so easily for this reason. Now, at this point, I guess you have to ask yourself, would Leclerc want to go to Mercedes? Well, the Ferrari driver has always spoken of his desire to finally get the Tifosi another world title, and he hopes to be the man to do it. He's extremely loyal to Ferrari, but he is also ambitious. There is no doubt that he wants to win a world championship. Now, to win it with Ferrari is probably the ultimate goal, but to win one at all must surely outweigh the option to stay at Ferrari. As for a possible swap deal with Hamilton and Charles Leclerc, it's probably not going to happen. But amid rumors that Hamilton has also been in talks with the Scuderia, the idea of a straight swap between the two might not be so far-fetched. However, Turini shut down these claims and declared, On the other hand, I know that Hamilton has never been close to the red team. Luca de Montezemolo thought about it when he was disappointed in Alonso, but Lewis had already settled in Mercedes. There was never a deal. Never. Right, so what happens if Charles decides not to join Mercedes and Hamilton retires? Well, according to reports, Mick Schumacher has been given a new plan to help Mercedes and with that, more responsibility. The reserve driver will be back at the factory on the simulator on the Fridays of race weekends to test setups for the following race. According to Automotor Unsport, this new plan for the Schumacher's son will begin at the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix, with the driver putting in the work at the Brackley HQ before flying out to meet the rest of the team at the track. Here, he will continue his normal duties as a reserve driver in case anything happens to either George Russell or Lewis Hamilton over the weekend, as well as the McLaren drivers Oscar Piastri and Lance. Norris. Could we be seeing Mick Schumacher step into Hamilton's shoes? This would surely mean that George would become the number one driver.